Halo. <laughs> Must effect tu eh. Abi buat apa itu eh? Abi lupa dah, abi buat apa. Tak dapat. Ikut <laughs> mengikut <laughs> jadual yang betul. Where am I? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh yeah, ni Horizon. Okay, alright. Coming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Oh, you really? I can. won't take kindly to the alliance breaking into a secret prison. You know alliance is not an alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. Artifact? I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I'll do it. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Admiral Hacker. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Hack it. The canal can hack it. Horizon kan? Maksudnya Miranda wants to see you, Ah, maksudnya kita ada new ni lah. So, Adley, how are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team in this galaxy. Hello. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? He moved on. I can't blame him. <laughs> he was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? 
You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything's going well up here? It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Choker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. I assume everything's going well. Good for well. now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Fractured my thumb on the mute. Wait. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Edie. Yes, Shepard. I want to know Do more about. Do you have a specific it. inquiry? How are you getting along, Mr. Moreau? Yeah, design. the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Let's discuss something Ready. else. I want to know more. Much about of that data thing. is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How is Cerberus? So each cell's agents are led by a single officer. So how many operations? I have a block that prevents okay. me from answering that question. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I think kita tengok kemudian kita kena hack, kena hack a medical room, medical bay. Damn you! Run, Shepard. Hi, Doctor. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not a good time. Anything okay, else? Okay. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Jakob. Jakob. Come to me, Jakob. Ah, dear. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But, well, I got pinged by a ghost the other mm. night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. The thing is... Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Mm. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. 
I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Let's go. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Can we talk, Jakob? I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. We've got a good thing, Shepard. Oh. Let's not push it. We'll talk later. Shepard. Yeah, yeah. Should be the last one. If you survive. Hello, Grunt. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Shepard. Mission. What are your thoughts? I fight. About? Doesn't matter. Just math. checking in. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Did Okir give you any? Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What are your thoughts? I fight. About? Doesn't matter who for Bye, for Shepard. Bye, Grunt. Jack. <coughs> hey, tell me something Nothing I don't to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. <laughs> You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. <laughs> You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. 
You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Manara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever, it'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Later, Jack. Zahir, Zahir, Zakir, Zahir. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In a shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Ah, no, that's too much. Oh. Oh, ho. What's that? Let's go. Garus. Supplies to good use. Is that it? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. Talk to you later, Garus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, Garus. How may I help you, Commander? Bye. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. What idiot? I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium. Safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. Mm. We're identical, 
But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Yes, go. Yes, go. Han Olar.
Или... Омега, oh да?
Oh ya. Prison. We've been spotted. But they are in the Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Can I go? Should I go there?
something on an asylum asteroid in the mass relay. You may even do that. What difference does it make? We caught them.
it, then it swarmed in and put flags all over. Shepard, I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Step. Mataria? We'll find one. Go. Whoa. <laughs> Ready. Here somewhere. Access is 
off me while I hack us away out. What door? This door? They're coming up from below. Other side, go. Other side. Nothing.
elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Is it on? Did it. Let's move. That did it. Thank you. Ah, right, this one. Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old-fashioned way. Leave that to me. They're here. Right. <laughs> Hello. Done it. Are you alive, Doctor? <laughs> She's alive. You playing dead. Oh, daddy. Let's go. Doctor. Oh. Should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, They'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the project. The project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Hmm. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. 
The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Oh, I see. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Is the project still operational? I I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Hmm. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and hmm. provide copies of all our notes on sure. the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to project base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. It's, it's a relax flat here. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, huh? the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Oh, the ke atas. Ke belakang sing, ke singki, ke belakang dia. How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? Hello. What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Oh, my God. Hello. 
girls, can I pass through? No. What? Huh. Nah, what level? Not a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. <laughs> Take her down. They've seen us. Let's go. I lost? I thought I was winning. Take her to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. <sighs> yes. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Whoa. Whoa, badass. Was I supposed to lose them? Okay. Got it. Shepherds escaped. All available personnel to the medical wing. Do the project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Let me. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, very nice of them. You are even sad. So this. Tidur dulu sepuluh Reduce. Do we reloading?
Try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Deepest blessing. Get ready. There. Shepard is trapped. Keep her in there. Keep her in there. How? Are you going to keep me in here? Hi there. The old. You see, everything right. How do I 
stabilize the reactor core. All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A <laughs> yes, of course.
Oh, whoa! Who's that? Are you dead? downgrade wow tapi dah bangun yeah None of this had to happen. Kenton, you don't have to do this. We can get off this asteroid. No, we cannot. Warning, collision imminent. Warning, Inside. collision imminent. Warning, collision imminent. Warning, collision imminent. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup now. Communication system damaged. <laughs> nice. Damn it. Nice job. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Tabi hike. Oh, Amanda. Ada orang lagi ke yang tak mengizinkan, tak mengizinkan kita balik. Thank you. Wow lah. Ini yang kita mahukan.
selamat. Can you me? Shepard, you have become an Collector. annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be, we will fight. We will sacrifice and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Roger that. Chen, long pay. Long pay, dear. Okay. 
Looks like you've recovered. Heck could he see you? Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between <laughs> those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming. And destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but... Time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. <laughs> so what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life. And they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarian's response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encounter the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Hmm. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Hmm, that's we weird. Car. Mm, I thought I would That was crazy. Bye bye, Janet.
Bye.